what a year it's been. I mean, we thought we were going to be kicking it off into a really good time. And I know everybody out there has had a struggle this year so far. It's been tough. Tough, tough, tough on all of us. So anyway, um, in the meantime, we've all been under stay-at-home orders. And guess what? How many of us went a little bit keto crazy and just ate whatever we wanted? Because why not? We didn't know if we were going to be around with this virus. And so eating chips and dips, hot fudge, ice cream with whipped cream, and not only just having a few little mistakes, but I was eating like that stuff three times a day. I mean, really, really went off the deep end. I feel like, I, well, let's be honest. I gained all my weight back. And you can do that really quickly when you're eating stuff like potato chips and dip and ice creams, breads. <sighs> I mean, you name it. So I'm really disappointed with myself. But now <laughs> it's time to get back. So we don't give up easy, do we? And we shouldn't. So please join me, Keto in the Kitchen with Pat, and we're going to get back to business. We're going to start today by making a delicious, healthy avocado guacamole dip. I think you'll love it. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we are. We're going to make that delicious guacamole dip. And you can use that to put on your eggs in the morning. You can use it to um, make some keto flatbread. Yum. That's really simple and easy, and I'll have that in a separate video that you can check out. It's really easy making that fathead dough and making a delicious garlic flat bread. Goes really good with this dip. And you can even use celery sticks, to be honest, to eat that with, or just simply, you know, have a few spoonfuls of it when you're really hungry and need a snack. So here we go. This is what I have so far, and I've already taken a lime out of the refrigerator and I've pre-cut the onion, red onion, as you can see there's our red onion. I squeeze the juice into the bowl where I've put some spices and those spices I'll show you are white pepper, so a little bit of white pepper, about a tablespoon, some garlic powder. Now you could use garlic salt but I'm trying to cut down my salt a little bit. And so because you use kosher salt in this recipe, and I'm gonna go over to the cupboard here and pull this out. So start with a, a teaspoon, two teaspoons, and then add more if you need it. So I've got one avocado here that I'm gonna be chopping up and I wanna show you a little simple trick. That little trick is going to save you from getting stabbed when you're stabbing yourself when you're trying to get the pit out of there. It's really easy. So let's watch. Okay, here we go. So the trick to making guacamole dip pain-free is you don't want to be stabbing at that pit because you could really stab yourself. And I think a lot of people are afraid of that. So this is a really easy way. You take your um, avocado and you just take a good paring knife that's pretty sharp and you just cut along the edge, okay? And then when you get to the bottom, turn it, okay? Continue on. So now you've cut the avocado, essentially you've cut it in half. Now, rather than just twisting and trying to get that pit out, take the portion that you haven't cut, just like if you were cutting up a piece of pie perhaps, and cut that so you now have four cuts in your avocado, okay? Easy. No pain, <laughs> no blood, everything is good. So we take it and we twist it as we normally would and you've got both pieces. However, you actually have four pieces. So what you're going to do is you're gonna take this piece. Now watch, here's the trick. You just use your thumb or if you want to, let's take a spoon. And you just take it and hold it at the end and that will separate like this, see? Take your spoon and just push that out. And then chop it 
without even having to use a knife. <laughs> and this one I already had cut up, so we can put that into the bowl. I ended up, <laughs> I ended up making a lot more of this than I thought I was going to, but it will get eaten within the week, so I'm prepping. So anyway, let's go on to the rest of the avocado. Take that in half, hold it by the end. Take that spoon and just take that good, delicious, creamy meat out of there. And now you get to the last piece. You see it? And you just pull that pit off. It's really easy. Discard it. Take your end. Push the rest of that into the bowl. And discard that. You see, that's all there is to it. We're on our way to making a delicious dip. Now I'm gonna wash my hands off and we'll get to making the rest of it. Be right back. So here we are back again and uh, clean hands, nice and clean. Oh my gosh, have you ever washed your hands so much before this coronavirus? I mean, really, <laughs> I wash my hands all the time and now I'm washing them doubly as much. So they're getting a little raw and a little bit dry. <laughs> So I'm using a lot of lotion, but keeping them nice and clean. That's important. Okay, so here are our ingredients again. The delicious avocados in the bowl, peeled and just chopped up slightly with the spoon. The wonderful red onion that's chopped in the lime juice of one lime, along with some diced jalapeno and our spices and we have the garlic powder the white pepper and the kosher salt those three ingredients along with your avocados a little jalapeno red onion and some tomato and i have a leftover tomato which is perfect for the top so now we've got, we've added all of our avocados we've added the red onion along with the jalapeno. I didn't have any cilantro. I am in the camp that does like cilantro, but I didn't have any, so I didn't add any today. But um, I've added the tomatoes on top, and then I've just flattened everything down, as you can see, with my spoon. I just flattened it because what I did was I just added a little olive oil to the top, and I pour the olive oil into the cap rather than putting it right on the avocados in the bowl and the reason for that is you don't want to accidentally dump too much and then just use your spoon and then just you know mix that around get everything into the bowl so, because you don't want it to get black or brown so this really preserves it and then finally you're just ready to put it in storage so what you want to do put the plastic wrap on top and press down with your hand okay that's gonna take that's gonna take out the air and it's really going to preserve the beautiful green texture that you have now and then just tuck the ends around the guacamole and there you go so ready to put that in the refrigerator and wow you can use that for all kinds of things I mean I make a delicious taco taco salad putting some of that on the taco salad is really delicious and you can just put some on your eggs in the morning that's really tasty a little a little of this along with a little bit of salsa yum and uh, I can think of all kinds of things besides just using it as a dip and so you can use celery sticks, you can use the garlic um, flat bread that I make. Um, I will put that up in a separate video. Really tasty and really easy. It's something you just mix together with a fathead dough and pop it in the oven. So, you know, there's all kinds of things that you can do to use for this. And you can even bring this to a party and you're going to be finding that a lot of people really enjoy it. It's very tasty. So enjoy and thank you for coming by
Keto in the Kitchen with Pat, and I do hope that you comment. Let me know if you use this or if you've made it. I really like to hear your comments. And also, if you'd like, please give it a thumbs up and like this video. And then, of course, there's that notifications bell. And if you want to get notifications when my videos pop up, please hit the notifications bell and click all notifications. That way you'll always get notified when I put up a new video. For instance, like that garlic on keto flatbread. Mmm, it's pretty tasty. Anyway, I'll see you again real soon. Stay safe out there. Wear your masks. Do the right thing. Bye.